Hello there fellow amateur generals and uh, welcome to another episode of Grand Tactician Civil War. Um, it is June 23rd, 1862. We've just uh, won a uh, big battle, like 100,000 versus 100,000 ish. Uh, what I've done here um, is just uh, I've started building up market and news agency. So we're gonna have better field view uh, of the surrounding area. So we're gonna know better where, uh, where and when the enemy armies are. And uh, we're gonna increase the supplies a bit with market and maybe some cash flow. Now the battle has just finished, so that's why the units need to replenish um, their supplies and all that. This is pretty empty. No small arms ammunition, um, no artillery ammunition. So we might even be in a bit of a pickle here uh, with time. So I've been actually checking on when we can get the supplies. Now cavalry, car uh, cavalry carbines, uh, carbines might not be a bad option. Uh, let's see, 9.8 out of 13. Hmm, we're gonna wait. Um, so supply reform. This will actually allow us to uh, get the supply depots to level 2 or 3. Greatly increasing the efficiency of the depots, allowing them to support more and larger armies. So we're gonna um, save up for this. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, we're halfway. Um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, still nothing here. I've actually been thinking about going on to the offensive. It's June 23rd. Army of Virginia has 138,000 men. Um, that's 150, let's say 160. Magruder score. Oh boy. We're getting up to the 200,000 number. Um, we have 75,000, though I think there's one division that still needs to be uh, recruited. Yeah, more than one. 8 days, 16 days. We have to wait for that if we want to go on the offensive. Uh, we have 45,000 here and 50,000. So we're actually pretty even. 175,000 troops. Uh, if we bring this army down as well, that's going to be additional 30,000. And we should all march and attack. Um, for now we're gonna stay put, um, we're gonna take care of these uh, units and I've actually been thinking about maybe doing something in the west, though it is still 1862 so we're gonna wait um, and hopefully fight a few more bigger battles uh, until then. Uh, but uh, yeah, the strategical map, uh, Loyal States, Manfield, it, yeah, well... They are getting their numbers up, slowly but surely, even though we're inflicting heavy casualties on them from time to time, it's now 2 to 1. 56, 54,000, so it's, yeah, it is 2 to 1. Um, relations, they're not going up anymore, which I'm a bit disappointed by. But our economy, well, our economy is way better, uh, plus our finances are now better than uh, the, the South. Uh, then the confederate uh, finances so um, we're gonna stay put for a while but I've been more and more thinking about attacking here just to see if we can fight off a 200,000 battle um, the main issue is we're gonna be attacking and I do not want to fight uh, attack in the wooded area yeah, that's gonna be futile yeah well I'm gonna keep on uh, playing and see what happens uh, here. We might uh, have to equip, re-equip um, these um, units as well. Let's also check quickly how many recruits we have. New independent core. Yeah, this is something that I'm not very... Upgrade core to army. Let's see. 32,000. Yeah. Can we even... No, we cannot even recruit a single... Well, we can actually recruit a brigade from Illinois. Well, I'm gonna play on and um, see if these armies need uh, replenishing. And uh, tune in when something happens. We've uh, finished printing the notes. We've also got um, weapons delivered. The 10 pounders, I think. Uh, 75 pieces of M61, 1861 10 powder parrot rifles. These are good, long range, quite accurate. Um, so uh, we've been printing more notes, 
<clears throat> now um, our finances are kind of well they are better than the um, confederate finances uh, I've also ordered additional 25,000 uh, Springfield rifled muskets because we ran out uh, we have like 900 um, in our storage so we need more uh, just to equip the troops and um, yeah we're gonna keep on probably let's check the policies should we print more notes or should we go with breadbasket 2 that's gonna take 31 days uh, the maximum amount of annual subsidies is increased the permits mm, that's gonna allow us to get more troops on the field uh, what if we go with let's see maybe we could go with industry you know what we're gonna print more notes um, let's go down this route 25 days let's go down this route and try and um, uh, break the confederates with uh, our finances um, so in regards to this they are soon gonna be unable to if that's not already it uh, they're soon gonna be unable to recruit more troops to get new weapons buy new weapons stuff like that um, oh my we had over 400,000 seems like the contracts have expired and a lot of guns were lost I don't know what uh, what happened here but we had over 400,000 men um, anyway now this is worrying how the heck did that happen if anybody knows let me know in the comments why does that happen we lost like 20,000 men uh, there is more recruits no we cannot even uh, recruit a single brigade so we're gonna go with um, here we're gonna of course go with um, Oh, administration reform that was I was uh, that's what I was uh, checking but uh, we're gonna go with improved credit rating We've said that a hundred times um, and we're gonna go with supply reform here oh boy we're getting into financial troubles but anyway what I wanted to say is that as soon as they will be in uh, trouble we're gonna start and try and um, destroy this part these armies uh, just so we cause some major issues for them and we might start uh, thinking about going into the offensive though probably not this year well they just uh, keep on coming <clears throat> there is one problem I've checked uh, the units in these armies and they seem like they've left you know look at the numbers here 800 men 1200 men Steadman Cooper still has well Cooper also has lost the numbers so I think yeah I don't know why 20,000 troops left of uh, left our uh, left the field maybe it really was something uh, that has to do with the contracts that have expired uh, there's another change here another major change because the enemy keeps on attacking from this side um, the um, our Mississippi rifleman got a new leadership so there's me <laughs> uh, fame interesting I said to have a leadership of three now we only have one and I had no fame so I guess I'm getting famous here Brigadier uh, Lucky L. Luke um, is gonna be commanding these troops now what I've been thinking is um, maybe swapping this for whole rifles 335 yards oh sharps rifles would be nice wait let's let's try and equip this brigade and make it a super brigade so do we have 2.3 thousand we're gonna upgrade you with sharps rifles these are the only sharps rifles we have uh, Mississippi rifleman we have how many men 2700 so Mississippi rifles 2.9 rounds 325 
we could give them the whole rifles, or we're gonna give them the whole rifles. And the third brigade, <coughs> Springfield rifles. Uh, we're gonna give you the missy. Oh, the Whitworths. And we're gonna give them the Whitworths. We actually have seven point six thousand pieces. All sharps and with words. Um I've actually been saving up the weapons uh, for this engagement, but uh, obviously we're fighting here more and more and mostly one division. If it's gonna be the same battlefield, one division is the one that's uh, taking the majority of the fighting. Um, so why not um, give them the most capable commander uh, in the history of a um, um, US uh, World War? I mean, no, not World War. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, equip them with the best weapons. So uh, let's um, probably unpause and we're gonna be in a fight straight away. So who's taking the charge? Walker again. Walker again is taking the charge. It's the same uh, good old number of troops. Now we'll, we'll have less this time because uh, we've lost. I mean, some of them have left. They are all charging up the railroad. So they're all gonna come from the same side. Are you gonna engage? Visigur again, with 12,000 troops coming in. They're just marching. Okay, so they do have less troops as well. They didn't manage to uh, fill them up. So Visegar is going to take the brunt of the attack uh, with Johnston arriving the latest. Um, so they have 80,000 troops. Uh, it's again going to be uh, uh, led, uh, we're going to be led by McClellan. Um, everybody's going to be on the field from the start, which is great. But we also have less troops. We had 90,000. This time we have 87,000. Yeah, okay, we outnumber the enemy. So good old Johnston is trying to keep on attacking. He's a rising star, I don't know how. Um, cautious, inspiring, skilled administrator, skilled in diversion. And our good old George is legendary. Passive, inspiring, skilled administrator, predictable. Yeah, we are predictable on this battlefield. Alright, let's get um, this ball rolling. So again, Battle of Clarksburg, I think it's the same one. Virginia, July 11th, 1860, uh, 1862. Well, <clears throat> this might shape up to be an interesting battle. So it's Clarksburg. Um, I'm holding all the major bridges, but I know that the enemy can probably march across the river uh, on some several other spots, most likely. It happened before, I cannot remember where, I think they were marching us through, somewhere like here. Um, so, um, let's say the battle of, um, the order of battle. Uh, McClellan is gonna hold his bridge down at the south with a uh, strong division. Uh, we can always spill this division off, though they're, they're gonna take forever to get back to, um, to the front lines. That's why it's gonna stay, probably stay here all alone. And that's why it needs to be strong in case um, and a whole army marches up. Uh, they will have Cox here uh, to kind of be in the back. It's a uh, poor division. Small numbers, but they can at least uh, do something, rush somewhere and um, delay uh, if needed. Reynolds going to be holding this bridge with a, a strong division. I've uh, built defensive, um, not parapets, but just breastworks. Uh, these cannons probably will not be able to fire at all. Uh, these are the uh, Napoleons here. Um, but yeah, now nowhere else. Uh, there's no other place where I could uh, actually even place them down to have at least some sort of uh, vision. Our right flank is going to be held by um, Stedman. Is it Stedman? No, it's not Stedman. Uh, it is Dix. Uh, with a strong brigade, I mean with a strong division uh, holding the bridge again 
and uh, some cannons behind though these cannons are from somebody else um, someone else's army yeah they're from um, McClellan's army they probably won't be able to fire um, anyway but still uh, if anything breaks you know the enemy is gonna have to march into the line and they're not gonna get it we have some uh, reinforcements here nothing spectacular now um, Lyle <clears throat> uh, Turchin and Kaim they are gonna be um, acting as reserves and uh, probably Kaim you know what we'll do we're gonna put him into double line because uh, I'm thinking that the enemy AI is gonna march across the river somewhere here it, it, at least I think it can so we're gonna be in a um, position to counter that um, Cadwallader is gonna be defending this bridge with uh, some specialized um, Zuave troops though I'm worried that they might get attacked from the flank we'll see um, and of course the main bridge is gonna be held by good old me with uh, Whitwater rifles, uh, sharps and uh, whole rifles we also have the counter battery fire while well, they already cannot see over uh, can we put them here yeah they just we just won't be able to position them in a way that they would be able to fire I've tried it I've even been thinking about putting them straight on the line you know what let's put these three inch ordnance straight on the line so they're gonna get lit up and I don't want to lose them no that's a bad spot they cannot fire they're gonna come over the bridge and just um, get blasted into oblivion so okay we're gonna leave them here though this field of fusion um, they're not gonna have that field of fusion as soon as we start up the mission I mean the mission um, start of the battle so yeah this is it uh, the enemy is gonna be marching from south and from well actually they're gonna come from this south from the south uh, do we have any other armies so they're all gonna cut, cut, march from the south so they might um, split off you know what we're gonna do we're gonna send oh there's more cannons here uh, we're gonna put this division so Turchin is gonna be put here so if anything tries to cross the river we are immediately gonna counter it now these cannons again the parrot rifles there is no place we can put them um, I'm gonna stick them here I kind of gave up on positioning of the cannons. It says it's a good field of vision, uh, vision but uh, it's, it's not gonna be. What the heck aren't you in a single line? Um, so yeah, that's it. Let's fire it up. I'm gonna tune in as soon as the uh, engagements start. Oh, by the way, one more thing. If they manage to cross and if they start to, uh, I don't know, come from a different or sort of an unexpected angle, like cross here and come over, we're gonna pull back into defensive positions and we're gonna be defending the German town. Uh, we're not gonna press on because the troops marching through the woods will just let the enemy tire up <clears throat> and we're gonna pull back, make defensive lines uh, and defend the German town seems like they cannot cross any other bridges they are coming up the main road where we were expecting them the only uh, division or brigade that I'm worried about is this one <clears throat> they will probably get attacked from here and um, we're gonna have to pull back uh, from these defensive positions now the cannons have not opened up yeah they cannot see they don't have the field of vision oh these do at least one probably has it what if we pull this horse artillery back I've even been thinking about putting them here but then they might get uh, lit up 
Ooh, so there are some cannons firing. Well, at least something. Let's um, move crack. Yeah, maybe they're gonna get uh, some shots off. There is no other way to know. But uh, we've opened up, so they're coming up the road. Still nothing here. I'm expecting some units to come there. But uh, our Whitworth uh, rifles are gonna have a field day. Maybe they're even gonna try and uh, get for that bridge. Let's speed up the time. <clears throat> I think they shied their pants as soon as they've seen our um, line of defense here. Oh my, what if they can cross here? Let's put them into a double line and we're gonna march them up into the woods. Maybe they can cross here. They're going just straight we we'll see. Holy moly. Yeah, they probably can cross. They are going for the crossing. Okay. We're gonna move you there. We're gonna move you there. We're gonna move this unit over as well. We're gonna move the cavalry closer. They probably can cross here. <clears throat> now this division is... is it any good? They are good at defensive positions. Let's hope they get their orders quickly. Oh my. <clears throat> We're gonna send two chim back. They're gonna take a while before they manage to march up and we're gonna move this army up as well. Uh, I mean this division. Oh my god, come on! They really are booking me. Okay. Let's send them into the woods straight in and go and double time it. There is no time to slack. No time for slacking. <clears throat> yeah, they're just going for straight for crossing. We're gonna move this brigade on the flank. Stone needs to move on the flank. Are we moving yet? Look at that. Before we even manage to move the units around, they are already crossing. Ooh, there are some cannons opening up. Come on, Lyle. We need you up there. And Stedman. <clears throat> Maybe they can even cross wherever they want. Now they're gonna take a while before they manage to cross, so we do have at least some time. Uh, but Lyle here, god dang it. Banks seems to be writing letters slowly. Okay, this brigade is moving. <clears throat> Let's hope we're gonna have um, the range. We're not gonna rush, because uh, they're gonna be fighting, they're gonna be tired. Are we moving finally? Dang it. Okay, I can hear some cannons uh, going off. 
Stedman is the first one to react. Are you guys taking the road? Oh my god, this is always... This is what happened on this same exact map. Cannons went over here, even though they were, I don't know, something like here. And I sent them over to the point and then was uh, one cannon unit that went around here. And of course the enemy was pushing across the river and they all got destroyed. And I didn't even notice until, until I got um, the message that uh, somebody is having huge losses and uh, routing and all that. Okay, we're we're pushing into position yeah they won't be able to cross in time at least I hope so now if they are all gonna go for this position and not spread out that's gonna be a, uh, an issue you guys are set to long range We'll reposition you like that. Do 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 with some reinforcements. <clears throat> I might uh, get this unit uh, closer. We'll see. But they are all marching down here. It's gonna be a bit of an issue because we will not probably be able to counter their cannons. So that's gonna hurt. Oh, did they turn around? Well, it could happen that they might just glitch through. Um, it happened that before. They seem they've turned around. What the heck are they mooling about? Maybe they're gonna go for the bridge now. Let's pull the Whitworths back. Or the whole rifles. Now that the brigade has come up. Oh my god, they're stuck. Are you guys stuck? They're moving along the fence. This is something that the AI, I mean, that the developers need to do. Look at that. They're getting stuck on the fence. And they're moving like the fence. Okay, they will not cross. But we should open up. They're gonna be tired, they are tiring. Okay, but the cannons are firing, so that's not bad. What if we bring these cannons up? Um, we're gonna bring them up, but we need to move them carefully. So we're gonna move you here first and then move around the road. Yes, yes, let them have it. Wahaha. Ripley's Brigade again. Rip, rip, please, uh, rip, rip, please, Brigade. Yeah, they will try and position somehow. Okay, we're moving reinforcements up. We're moving more cannons up. The bombardment ones. Now they are kind of stuck on the fence. It seems like they tried to cross, but it ain't gonna work out. Okay, we're gonna send... well, we're gonna leave the cavalry be. The division has come up. Um, we're gonna leave these divisions here to rest. 
we're gonna get uh, the Witworths or actually the whole rifles back and it seems like the cannons do have the vision so we're gonna keep on bombarding why are you taking so long yeah march back let's hope they don't get shot up uh, from this side Are they running across? Watkins is trying to cross. Well, they're gonna run into our uh, Witworth rifles. <clears throat> Let's hope they get their um, sharpshooter perk. Come on, man, they're on the bridge. Ooh, this is bad for the enemy. <laughs> Why are we not opening up? Five losses, 45 losses. I guess they hit the window of the Lee and um, McGordon's mill. Oh my god, only 45 losses. Are you guys that bad? Come on, we must not let them get across the bridge. Rush it. They're gonna get shot in their masses. It says we're flanked. They've been uh, pushed back already. Poor houses, they are being blasted. Cannons are cannons on the move, they are. Do we have more cannons? We do. Um, I could move these cannons back on the road and somewhere here. But uh, they might try for this push. Okay, are they blasting us? Blasting the enemy, they are just uh, on the wrong side of the of the fence there. Oh, poor Lee! He's again gonna get his uh, armies battered. They're already pulling off. Okay, is this unit? What the heck did they disappear? Whole rifles have a range of 335 yards. Why are you all of a sudden tired? High fatigue. The men are exhausted causing momentarily demoralization. We're gonna cause a rally moralization. <coughs> Aha, there they are. Let's move this unit slightly closer. Look at this. Disrupted. Well, don't tell me. Ooh, they both fired at the same time. These buildings are gonna be destroyed. I need to get the, the Napoleons up. They will probably try and attack through here. Everybody's probably gonna try and get through here. Yeah, now they're engaged in a fight. What? What happened here? My brigade has made contact with the enemy. Okay, fine. Kelly arrives, yeah that's one of our generals, the army with the cavalry and more cannons, okay, 
you need to go there so we're gonna move you here rush it before the enemy arrives just run before things go bad okay they're not tired anymore we need to rally and it seems like yeah we are firing on the enemy 50 casualties there is still a unit here so it's gonna be the end of the day soon um, let's actually skip time yeah they were not seen uh, they were not seen that's why they we didn't fire upon them Our sharpshooters are gonna take care of these lads. We'll see how they will position at the end of the day. Uh, but they definitely went for a crossing here. Definitely. This Kentis brigade is gonna get obliterated. Now, did that brigade move over? It did. <clears throat> We're gonna put this division up here on the road. And uh, when the day ends, we're gonna bring Kelly up, especially his cannons. We're gonna keep moving these cannons to this position. No, 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 not good. Okay, we're gonna move the cannons here and let's hope they will do something. There's a lot of smoke, but that's the enemy movement smoke, it's not the, our cannons firing. Ooh. Okay, the Witworths have opened up. Who's coming? Williams Brigade. <clears throat> They're still gonna get slaughtered. I still don't know where the rest of the enemy armies is, uh, are. They must be marching somewhere towards us. Let's uh, skip ahead, I mean skip some time. Oh, these cannons might be a problem. If they will be... They can fire on us. Who are they firing at? gonna get the skirmishers out and uh, hopefully we can attack them over the river where the heck are the skirmishers at? told you to get the skirmishers out Man, 160. They will do their best to push the bridge. They will come with everything they have. Oh my god, they might even come. might even try and push us, you know, with then I charge. This house is already all <laughs> riddled with holes with cannon fire, oh my god, they're gonna make the push. If they uh, storm our lines, we'll have an issue. Nah, they've been routed, they've been pushed back. The losses that are gonna happen uh, here for the enemy. Okay, you shouldn't be that scared. It's not your first battle. You're supported behind cover. Nine dead and already wavering. We won't be 
probably won't be able to attack their cannons. Yeah, these these guys made a difference. Sharp snipers, seven and a half rounds a minute, and uh, they are just like fish in a barrel. Oh my god! There's gonna be fifty thousand dead if they're gonna continue on pushing uh, on this bridge. They are firing at us though. Two losses. Twelve losses. Okay, we're gonna give you the sharpshooters. End of the day. We're gonna see how they're gonna reposition. 